Bittersweet Memories by A.B. England Sometimes memories are the worst form of torture. What was Christmas like when you were little? Nadine asked. The wind howled through the trees outside, and Evie shivered as a draft of frigid air seeped through under the cabinets and swirled around her ankles. Nadine didn't look up from scrubbing the potatoes for the evening meal, but the way she held herself made it plain the girl was listening intently for the answer. Evie checked to make sure the wind hadn't created a backdraft in the oven and snuffed out the flame. Overwhelming, Evie said. She took advantage of having the oven open to base their share of the couple deer the hunting party of their little village managed to harvest. Everyone ran around busy from the start of the season until the holiday itself. The whole city sparkled with electric lights and glittering ornaments. Warm homes were stuffed full with friends and family bearing gifts wrapped in colorful paper and more food than they could hope to eat. It sounds amazing. Nadine's voice carried a soft, somewhat sad kind of odd tone. I wish I could remember before the war. In a way, I'm glad you don't, Evie mumbled. She closed the converted oven's door before the smoke from the fire could fill the small kitchen. It's painful looking back. I don't understand that, Nadine said. She finished drying the last of the potatoes and carried them to the cutting board before picking up the good knife. Yes, it's sad when something's lost, but doesn't remembering good times make you happy? She turned her big brown eyes up to her mother. That's what you told me when Aiden got sick, isn't it? Evie's hands hovered above the bowl she'd left the bread dough in to rise before they fell back down to her side. Guilt and pain squeezed at her heart and her eyes stung. Yeah, she choked out as she blinked away the tears gathering. Evie shook herself and flowered the counter before turning out the dough to knead. I suppose I did. It's good you, Daddy, Nathan, and the others in town remember what life is like before everything happened. For a moment, only the swishy sound of bread being kneaded and the thump of a knife against the cutting board could be heard amongst the rustle of the wind outside and the popping of the fire in the oven. If no one remembered what we lost, how would we ever get it all back? Nadine asked as she kept slicing potatoes. It's been six years, Nadine. So? Evie heard the scrape of Nadine's knife over the board before chunks of potato rained against the sides of the pot. Tearing things down is easy and fast, Nadine said as the steady thump of her knife against the cutting board resumed. Building takes a while, so I'm not worried. If you enjoyed today's story and would like to see some more stories or articles or find out about my books, you can find more information at abengland.com. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.